show you how to do one of these problems and then hopefully you can use that to um, do more of these problems. So let's draw this figure. Sorry about my um, artistic skills here. So I'm drawing this figure and I'm going to write what we have um, already. So we know that this is 5, we know this is 8, we know that this is 3, this is 5, this is 6, and this is 9. So um, what we're going to do is the perimeter is just the distance around. So I'm going to write down, what I like to do is mark the side that I'm going to write down. So I'm going to mark this side, and that's a 5. I'm going to continue to go around, so I'm using that, so that's an 8. Then right here, this uh, marking the sides helps me keep what I've already used, so I don't do it again. I'm going to mark this side, that's a 5. I'm going to mark this side, that's a 6. And I'm going to mark this side, which is a 9. Now if you notice, we have two sides that don't have measurements that we haven't used yet. And we need to go all the way around the figure to get the perimeter. So um, we'll have to figure that out. So we need to figure it out. Um, so if we look here, if we look at this right here, it's a vertical line. So let's look at all, let's look at the left side of the vertical lines. We have five and then we have three. This line right here and this line right here equal um, the vertical lines on the right side. So five plus three is eight. Therefore, the vertical lines on the right side, here's one on the right side, that's already six, and then the one we need to figure out. Well, if the ones on the left side equal eight, the ones on the right side have to equal eight as well. So six plus what gives you eight? We know that this has to be two, okay? So now I can go back and mark that because I know what it is. I'm using that and we put a two down here. Now I need to know the bottom. So it's a horizontal line and it's on the bottom. So hor this horizontal line on the bottom and this horizontal line on the bottom will equal the lengths of both the horizontal lines on top. We have 8 plus 5, which equals 13. So the ones on top, the horizontal lines on top, have to equal the horizontal lines on bottom. We already have a 9, so 9 plus what gives you 13? That has to be 4. So now I can go back in and I can mark that side, 4. So now I have all these numbers right here and all I have to do is add them up because that's how I find perimeter. So when I add them up you should get 42. So that's the perimeter. Now let's talk about the area. So let me redraw the shape. So again I'll draw it to the best of my ability. So redraw this shape. We have, we know that this is five. We know that this is four now from our last problem. We know that this is two from our last problem. We know that this is nine, six, five, three, and eight. So to find area, what you want to do is divide this up into um, shapes that you know, rectangles. Okay? So I'm going to draw a line here and making this rectangle right here. And we know to find the area of the rectangle is length times width, okay? So we know that this side is 5, and we know that this side is 6. So 5 times 6, that gives me the area of 30. Now I'm going to divide it up into another rectangle. So I'm using, I'm going to go this way. And you can divide these up into any rectangle you want. 
but um, I decided to go that way. And so we have this rectangle now. I know that this side right here is eight, so eight times, and then I need to find this height, okay? So to find that height, um, all we're gonna do, if you notice here, from this line right here, from this top to this bottom, that's a six. Well, we already have three, so six minus three, this means that that would be a three, okay? We know that from here to here, from the dot, purple dot to the purple dot is a six because of the opposite side, okay? So three plus three would equal six. So now I'm gonna find the area of this purple rectangle, which is an eight by three, and so that's a 24. And then on the bottom, we have our last rectangle. I'm gonna make it yellow. So we have our yellow rectangle right here, and we know it's a four. Sorry, you can't really see that four, but it's a four by two. So four by two, and we get an eight. Let me darken that color. I should have made it like a blue or something. So we get an eight, okay? So now we know the area of this rectangle is 30, area of this rectangle is 24, area of this rectangle is eight. Um, so we add them up, 30, plus 24 plus 8 and we get eight, 62 okay so the area of that is 62 and that's how you will solve all those problems